hi everyone. Good morning. Winter is here and the weather in Swansea is really cold. However, the sky is blue and it is so clear. So I've decided to create a video about how I learn English language. So in Indonesia, I went to normal school, which that time English is only, let's say, twice a week. Anyway, long short story, when I was 22, I decided to taught myself English. I know my English is not perfect. I've done a lot of grammar mistakes and I've tried to improve every day. But it is really hard, especially when you don't speak English since you were really, really young. So you, you still have the accent, especially my R accent is so strong. Especially for Indonesian, it is harder probably because in Indonesia, we don't really have grammar the same as in English language. And to learn languages, you have to speak every day and you have to practice it. I lived on an island where we have access to TV channels from Singapore and also radio. So I decided to use the facility. So it was free as well. I started to listen to news, radio, reading papers, because back then it's, internet is not easy. In 2012, me and my husband decided to move to the UK. So I had to take a test, IELTS test, which it was my first English test that I did. And it was really hard for me because I didn't know about the academic English. Luckily, I got 6.5 for general English. Then it helped me to push myself that, oh, I have to learn academic English. However, when I decided to study in university, I had to pass another IELTS academic. I taught myself how to do it because it's a test. So you have to know how it's a trick to get high score. My score was 7.0 for IELTS academic English. Sometimes in a lecture, the, I don't really know the phrase of the vocabularies that we have to use. My foundation year and yeah, my foundation year and my first year helped me a lot to understand the engineering vocabularies, especially for aerospace engineering. Even I know there are a lot of Indonesian in Swansea. I don't really meet them. I will meet them only once in a while because I don't really want to speak Indonesian all the time. Otherwise, I will not improve my English. I still have a lot of grammar mistakes that is you know I'm lazy to change but I have to because if I want to do master degree I have to write a dissertation and in the dissertation I have to be really really good that's how I learn English I'm not sure it covers everything you know don't worry about the mistakes at the first and then later on you will correct your mistakes and and it is hard practice makes perfect so keep practice your English, correct your mistakes, and one day you will master it. I try to improve my English by reading books, writing reports, yeah, reading my lecture notes, and try to make friends with native speakers. Sometimes you have to get out of your, your comfort zone and you have to push the boundary to be able to master things. So keep learning and practice your English and one day you will master it and you will look back and say oh my god I've done this I've, I've gone this far and I made it anyway I hope this video helps and inspire you and speak to you next time bye